Hey YT, it's your girl Britt with Two Chicks in a Makeup Kit. I just wanted to do a little quick uh, review of the Inglot brushes that I have. Um, these definitely aren't all the brushes that Inglot carries. Because I just have one face brush and then a lot of uh, different brushes for the eyes. So, the prices that I'm going to tell you guys are prices that I found on the Inglot USA website. Um, so, those could vary of course where you live and as well vary if you have an Inglot store. Um, the first brush that I'm going to show you guys is the 9 oh, sorry is the 1 SS looks like this so the 1 SS brush is great for pressed powders or loose powders um, it has square squirrel substitute hair and it does come in a synthetic um, hair as well uh, it's great for face and body and online this is $37 and I work at the Inglot counter I know the most expensive brush we carry is the Kabuki in store and that's for 30 something so in store this brush could be um, about $26, $29 but online it's $37 and again this is the one S. So, then the next brush I'm going to show you is the 5S. This is a eyeshadow brush with like a flat top on it. Get my get that to focus. Can't get it to focus, but again, it's the 5FS. This is um, a fine squirrel hair brush. Uh, retails for $18 on the website. I personally like to use this brush for smudging uh, shadows in underneath my eyes. Um, but this is an eyeshadow brush, great for eye molding or just regular eyeshadow application. But again, I like to use it for smudging shadows underneath my eye. And then the next brush that I have is the 28PO brush. Looks like this. So it's like a nice round um, eyeshadow brush. And I do use this for eyeshadow application. You can use it for eyeshadow base. It has um, pony and ox hairs. It sells for 16 on the website. And I think that's pretty much the same price as it is in stores too. Um, but one of my favorite brushes I love to use to pack on a lot of color onto the lid. But that is again the 28PO brush. Now the next brush that I have is the 8OHP. Looks like this. Um, it's like a pointed precision brush so it has a nice little dome shape to it. I like to use this for smudging as well, but I also like to use it to get in the crease to do like a cut crease or just like a nice precision um, shadows, but it is a shadow brush. It has um, ox and ponytail or ox and pony hairs. It also comes in synthetic hair and it retails for 18 and again, that's the price off the website. The next brush that I have is this one. It is the 9S brush. This is another eyeshadow brush. Great for lining, um, great for shadow shading, and great for kind of giving the shape to the eye. This is sable hair. It also comes in synthetic. This retails for $17. Um, I like to use a lot of natural hair or faux natural hair type of brushes. I don't really like the synthetics unless it is for concealers and liners, which I'm about to show you now. So, this is one of my favorite um, Inglot brushes. It is the 30T. It's a bent angle brush. So, this I really love to do with the number 77 uh, gel eyeliner or any gel eyeliner or a cream type of liner, shadow, whatever. 
just has a nice pointed great to use on the um to get really close to the lash line that's what i was trying to say lash line and this one retails for twelve dollars um, on the website and i believe the same is true in stores it has synthetic uh talc line t-a-k-l-o-n fibers so that's what um that brush is made of the next brush I'm going to show you is the 22T. Trying to get to focus. Anyway, the 22T. This is um, a synthetic hair brush that I like to use for concealer. You can use it to touch up foundation in certain areas, but this is synthetic hair. Um, same type of fiber, the Talcon, T A K L O N fiber. Um, retails for $12. Now these last three are again uh, some of my favorite brushes. The first one is the 4SS. And this is a large uh, blending brush. I like to use this if I'm blending all over the lid or if I want to blend in any type of cream concealers or if I'm doing, um, sometimes I use it for picking up my cream contour colors. Uh, if I'm, you know, contouring my face, and I also like to use it to buff in any type of like powder highlights or any type of powder products and things like that. So, good multi-use brush. Again, this is the 4SS Large Blending Brush. Retails for $23. It's squirrel, squirrel substitute hairs. Um, so it looks like that. These are all very soft. There's zero to minimum fallout after multi washes and things like that so i really love these brushes um the next brush is a small uh eyeshadow blending brush this is the 6 ss so same type of dome shape but i like to use this to get in a shade in my crease This also is Squirrel Substitute Hair, retails for $20. Um, and again, multi-uses for this one as well. And the last brush that I have is the uh, 10S brush. Sorry. It's a small blending brush. I like to use it to get inside like the inner tear ducket or uh, sh shade underneath my brows and things like that. Um, but I'll call it a precision eyeshadow blending brush. It has pony hairs, and this one retails for $18. So I am uh, in the process of getting like more of the Inglot face brushes. But um, so far, this is my little collection. Um, some of these I use for personal use. Some of them are used in my kit. So if you guys have any questions or want to know anything about any other Inglot brushes, you can leave me a comment in the comment box, or if you have you know more questions on descriptions and things like that also leave a message so thanks for tuning in again it's Britt with two chicks in a makeup kit and i hope you guys have a great one bye